Hi guys, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. Didn't really have a video for Thursday night. It probably doesn't matter much if I miss one, but while we go on, we might as well. So I thought, <clears throat> have a quick look at a bit of kit that I've bought this last week. And see if anyone knows any more about it. I know some very basic uses for it and I know that it will get used quite a lot in its basic form but I'm sure it's good for other things and it's vintage I guess is probably not made anymore it's made by Bowers Group in the UK which are the parent group of more and right nowadays but this looks like it was probably made in the probably in the 70s and it's a machine scope or a centering microscope this one I got lucky I didn't know much about it when I bought it but it was the right price I've seen these go for colossal amounts of money and a new one is colossal amounts of money even a Chinese one. Hemingway kits in the UK, they make a kit um, which I've eyed off for a long time and would seriously like to have made one but you really need some, uh, some more complicated tooling than what I've got, a miller machine and stuff. So it was down the way a bit. Anyway, I picked this up. It's got a focusing eyepiece so you can see it with your glasses on or whatever which is useful. And you've got crosshairs in here with some fine adjustment and a locked up. And on the back here if we have a look there's a mandrel that's half inch diameter for a collet or whatever. I haven't got a half inch collet. Whether we modify that or whether I make up another mandrel with a taper for the tail stock would probably be quite useful. And maybe a mandrel for the headstock too. It's a job for later on. That's spring loaded and it just fits in there with a nice friction fit. Keeps everything nicely centered and square. And then the big nut on the outside. So what do you use it for? It goes in the lathe and you use it for setting tool heights and for checking machine tool alignment. It's particularly useful for accurately setting tool heights and on a little lathe like this that's kind of important or you mess around and there's there's other ways to, to check tool heights. I have friends who've made proper height gauges and so forth and so on. I've seen magazine articles with the construction notes on building like red and green light indicators and things for for tool heights but this basically has a, a crosshair line and you can adjust your tool height to match. I had a bit of a mess around and couldn't seem to get a picture with the camera of what you can actually see in the eyepiece there. But to give you some idea That shows the tool there and the lathe centre just in the background. I can't seem to get it to pick up the crosshairs but they are there and setting up a tool is as easy as adjusting it like that.
So that's the tool set up in the in the tail stock chuck there, which is hardly ideal. What I'd really like is a tapered arbor to go back in here. Where it's especially useful is for setting up a milling cutter to cut a wheel, um, a clock or a watch wheel. Very handy for that if you've got a cutter that spins this way on a, sp on a spindle. Very useful for getting it on centre height there. Um, also very useful for measuring centre and job run out and for setting things up in a four jaw chuck and very useful for many things really I'm still thinking of uses for it and I'm sure someone out there in YouTube land will have used one and knows all about them and can fill us in so anyway, that's tonight's video. Thanks for watching, and I thought you might have found this interesting. I certainly thought it was a bit of a score. Um, this actually swivels, and the, the reason for that is so that you can calibrate the, the microscope, so you can check against the crosshairs that way, and against the crosshairs that way, and when they're in the middle, You've got it set up on centre. So that's what that's all about. It's the Bowers Centering Microscope or Machine Scope. Any information or an instruction manual or anyone who knows anything about them would be really appreciative if you got in contact with me. But thanks for watching guys and girls and more soon.